Can you talk a little bit about your road to the presidency, whether you saw it starting uh, back at the University of Texas at Austin, or whether there was something else in your initial trajectory that sort of led to where you are now? Well, as I indicated, I was really interested in mission work and ministry and uh, helping professions. So after I received my Master's of Science in Social Work, uh, I had gone to a national meeting of the United Methodist Women, and I think it was in Birmingham. And they were supporting women in leadership positions and trying to get more women engaged in advocacy work. And I was sitting in a little round table discussion and I got engaged in that discussion with some of the older women. And there was another woman that came and tapped me on the shoulder and she said, would you mind going in plenary and summarizing your discussion? And I was very young and I, of course, did that and everybody was saying, who was that young woman? And uh, I guess a lot of people were impressed with my role there. And later I applied for the position as General Secretariat which is one of the highest positions a layperson can hold in the United Methodist Church with the General Commission on the Status and Role of Women. And so at age 28, I became uh, a member, a three-person secretariat. And it was a challenge against the um, United Methodist denomination because you usually have only one head person CEO of a national agency. And we were saying we want to have kind of a, a different leadership model, more democratic, so that there would be three of us who would lead on an equal basis rather than one person. The church did not like this model, but we uh, continued to implement it in a transformative way where people saw that it was workable. So at age 28, I was uh, part of the beginning of a movement in the United Methodist Church for democratizing uh, that whole um, society of Christians because we at that time only had about 250 to 350 ordained clergy women. By the time I left we had thousands of ordained women and we had elected the first woman uh, bishop, Bishop Mar Marjorie Matthews. And my role was to go in and conduct training sessions for inclusivity, uh, to monitor seminaries and general agencies of the church to make sure that women uh, were in upward mobility positions or had access to jobs and a career in the church. And I also investigated alleged uh, cases of sexual discrimination and employment discrimination. I remember writing the first draft of the harassment, sexual harassment uh, policy that was adopted by the General Commission on the Status and Role of Women and circulated to other national agencies. So I got really involved in advocacy work monitoring and education. And that was the first hint that I had that I was really an educator and loved uh, doing training and workshops all over the denomination. 